Is Bitcoin the future of finance or just another bubble waiting to burst? That's the million-dollar question that sparked an intense debate between MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor and noted gold enthusiast Peter Schiff. Our story unfolds on a usual weekday when both financial titans decided to put their arguments to the test. Saylor, a vocal Bitcoin proponent, kicked off the debate with a strong emphasis on Bitcoin's potential as a store of value. He made compelling arguments about Bitcoin's scarcity, its resistance to inflation, and the technological prowess that underpins it. Then, Schiff took the stage, armed with his long-standing belief in gold's stability. He countered Saylor's points with warnings about Bitcoin's volatility, its susceptibility to regulatory crackdowns, and the risk of new technology rendering it obsolete. Schiff didn't pull any punches, instead he laid bare the risks associated with a digital, decentralized currency. The debate heated up as Saylor and Schiff went back and forth, each defending their preferred asset with passion and precision. Bitcoin and gold, two polar opposites in the world of finance, were put under the microscope, dissected and compared in a way that left the audience on the edge of their seats. So, what were the main points of this clash of financial titans? Saylor championed Bitcoin as the money of the future. He pointed out its finite supply, which makes it resistant to the inflation that plagues traditional currencies. He also highlighted Bitcoin's potential as a technological innovation, arguing that it's not just a currency, but a global financial network that's only set to grow. On the other hand, Schiff remained steadfast in his belief in gold stability. He cautioned against the hype around Bitcoin, pointing out its volatile price swings and the regulatory risks. Schiff also questioned the idea that Bitcoin's technology makes it superior, arguing that new technologies could easily supersede it. In the end, the debate between Saylor and Schiff was a clash of visions for the future of finance. It was a riveting exploration of two radically different perspectives, each backed by strong arguments and unwavering conviction. As the dust settles, it's clear that the conversation about Bitcoin and gold is far from over. Whether you're a crypto enthusiast or a gold bug, it's a debate worth tuning into. After all, the future of your finances could very well depend on who's right.